Hi, in this video I'd like to show you a new improvement in BeltMaker and also I'd like to do a quick recap of the previous version since I didn't post a video about it. So starting with the new version, the BeltMaker 1.4, it is now possible to adjust the thickness of the belt, like so. And it will affect each segment of the belt, so every beginning and every end and also every middle buckle and here you can see that when you change the thickness the buckle position will adjust to it and that's pretty much it for this update it's a pretty small one but also I think this feature was very much needed and now I'd like to use this opportunity to say a few words about the belt maker auto which is a new belt asset that uh, was shipped with the belt maker 1.2 so comparing it to the old version of the belt maker there you had the control curve for the belt and if you wanted the belt to follow it you had to adjust the length of the belt and there you could uh, use the bonus length you could add the middle section uh, you can find all the information in the previous tutorial but now with the new version the belt maker auto you just edit the control curve and the belt will automatically follow it and in addition to that if you'd like the middle section to slide over the belt there you have the slide holes option and you can even hide the holes and then you can slide the middle section by itself. And that covers the update on the belt maker. And for the final part of this video, I'd like to share with you a sped up time lapse of me doing those belts that you can see on this character. So yeah, thank you for watching. And as usual, you can find link to all my products in the description of this video.